Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Coffee with Alyssa. I'm so glad you've joined me today. So if you haven't already, get yourself seated somewhere comfortable, grab a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is you like to drink, and let's talk. So today, our topic is going to be a little different. I just kind of thought I would do kind of a different one today. Um, I want to talk about or tell you guys about my hopes and dreams for the future. And you're probably thinking, why is she talking about that? But I just kind of felt it on my heart too, because I have a lot of hopes and dreams for the future. And a lot of these, you know, um, I, I'm not sure how they're, if they're going to happen or not, but some of them I have a lot of faith that they will happen. So let's get into it. So um, I am 26 years old, as some of you might know. And ever since I was really, really little, so probably two or three years old, I would play with baby dolls nonstop. And okay, I don't anymore, but I did from the time I was two or three till probably the time I was like 12 or 13. And I would play with baby dolls and I had this dream in my heart to be a mom. And it was a dream that's always been in my heart. I mean, like I said, as, as long as I can remember. Um, I used to take them to the store when my mom would take me to do errands. I used to put the babies in the stroller with my little sister when she was a baby. And my mom's like, what are you doing? I used to bring them in the bath with me, you know, like in the pool. Like it was ridiculous. I had such a dream to be a mom. And I used to want 12 kids. I'm not kidding. It's crazy. I know that's a lot. And I don't think I want 12 kids anymore, but I really wanted to be a mom. So that I think is the biggest dream that I've ever had that's been since I was little. Um, so as most of you know, I have been married to my wonderful husband for two and a half years. That was another dream of mine is to be married. Um, so that already has happened, praise the Lord. But my dream to become a mom is still yet to come. I have high hopes for that. Um, my husband and I would like to have two biological children, so not 12. Um, and then we would also like to adopt two children. So we want to have four kids. We both come from a family of four kids. I think I might have mentioned this in other videos, but... I'm going to go into more detail about that today. So we would like to have two biological kids. Don't know when that's going to happen, whenever the Lord wants. But um, we are waiting and we are ready. So, and after that happens, whenever the Lord wills it, we would like to adopt. And the first child we want to adopt is somebody that comes from a third world country, like, I don't know, anywhere that doesn't have a whole lot of money um, that is blind. So one example is Haiti, only because... One time I heard about a blind orphan in Haiti that was abandoned in a hospital. No one claimed her and she was rescued by an orphan digit a year and a half old and still didn't even know how to walk or anything. Or of course, most babies at that age are just learning, but this baby had no idea what to do. Um, she was, I think, completely blind and took her till she was three to learn really how to walk. And um, she had had a lot of help. And still to this day, she doesn't really know how to read braille. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of opportunities. And so just, it's so on my heart and on Richard's heart that we want to give a blind child from a third world country who would not have the same opportunities as a blind child from America would have. We want to give them the opportunities to learn and to thrive despite their disability. And so that is our goal is that we will adopt a blind child, no matter how old they are, whatever the Lord brings into our path and bring them into our home. And because I am blind, I was born blind, I feel like I have kind of some experience and so I feel like I can help a child to really thrive as a blind person and to know, you know, what they're going to be experiencing and I feel like I can really help. And so that's why I know the Lord has put this on my heart. So I'm excited about that. And also we want to, Lord willing, adopt a baby um, from someone who maybe doesn't want the baby, like maybe a teenage pregnancy or an unplanned pregnancy that they would want to abort. We want to step in and adopt a child that might be aborted because we are definitely pro-life and we want to provide a place for life. And so that's our goal as well. And I'm really excited about that possibility. So again, Lord willing, we're not sure when and if this is going to happen or how, but this is definitely a desire we have. So that's kind of the family desires that we have. My husband and I also really want to be in ministry together. Um, I mean, we already are because we're all in ministry each and every day. But um, we want to have a ministry together. And I think, we're not sure what that's going to look like yet, but we just kind of talked about it this morning on the way to church. And we were just kind of talking. And, um, you know, we really want to help couples. You know, um, we want to maybe meet with couples that are married or, you know, maybe engaged or just young couples. And, you know, we can share our experiences with them because we've already been where they are. And so we really want to mentor them and just kind of see what the Lord has for that. 
And I also want to start more women's ministries. You know, I want to create a place for women to come and to get poured into. Uh, maybe women who have been broken or are hurting or, you know, just don't know the way. Maybe they've been abused. Um, I want to be able to speak into their lives. And so I actually have a heart for women. And the Lord has given me a couple of songs that I use to speak to different women's groups. And um, I'm actually going to be starting, this is totally a side note, but... I'm going to be starting a series on my channel called Girl Talk, and um, I'm just going to be talking to women about some things the Lord has put on my heart for women and for girls, anybody. And I'm just going to let you men know right now, if you're watching this, I mean, you can totally join us, but you may not want to. So um, that's going to be coming soon. So look for that. Um, so anyway, I really have a heart for women and I want to pour into their lives. So that's a huge hope and dream for my future is to impact as many women for the Lord as possible and to teach them how to be good wives and how to... Um, live really the way the Lord has called them to live, to be women of God, to be to know what it is to be truly beautiful on the inside. So that's my goal. Um, that's a huge desire of mine. And, you know, we all have hopes and dreams for our futures. And, you know, I have, those are kind of my ministry hopes and dreams. And of course, you know, I would love, these are kind of side hopes and dreams, but I would love to live near the beach or to kind of live where it's really, really cold um, and rainy all the time. What I mean by near the beach is literally walking distance. I know that's like really close and it may not happen, but it's kind of like a little hope is that'd be fun to just kind of, you know, walk to the sand and walk back home, you know, like it's just kind of a distant dream in my heart. I don't know, but, or to live where it snows so we can get white Christmases. Oh, I would love a white Christmas. I've never had a white Christmas before, like, literally a white Christmas. So I would love to experience that, but that's two different climates. So <laughs> we'll see which one. I would actually love to have a beach house where we don't go to all the time, but then actually live in the place where it snows and it's cold, but that's just a side thing. So those are just a few of my hopes and dreams for my future. I'd like to know what some of your hopes and dreams are for your future. So comment down below and let me know. Um, but I wanted to share a couple of verses with you today that have to do with the future from the Bible. And I think I might have shared these before. They're a couple of my favorites. The first one is Proverbs 16, 9. And it says, In his heart, man plans his course, but the Lord directs his steps. And basically what that means is that, you know, we, we make all these plans, like all these things I've told you I want to happen in my life in the future. But really, the Lord is the one that directs that and, you know, directs our steps and is going to, you know, the Lord is going to bring us where he wants us to be and put us on the path he wants us to be on. And of course, the Lord knows our desires, but you know, it's his will. And I have to remember that. I tell myself that every day, as much as I want certain things, your will be done, Lord, you know? So that's definitely what I have to remember. And another verse that I've mentioned before, another one of my favorites is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. So that's encouraging because the Lord has plans to prosper us. He has a hope and a future for us. And we just have to trust in him for that. So I just wanted to share with you guys that today. Again, comment down below. Let me know what your hopes and dreams are. And I hope you guys are having a lovely day. And don't forget to subscribe for more discussions and much more things on my channel. And I want to get to know you guys. So I look forward to that. But I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.